Margaret Marshall led the Massachusetts Supreme Court, which paved the way for today's decision. Only on five, she tells Janet Wu that five to four decision 12 years ago doesn't seem that long ago. That's right. We sat down with the Chief Justice this afternoon, and she said while 12 years may seem like a lifetime for some, for her, it feels really quick because she remembers the details of the upheaval and pushback so very vividly. Margaret Marshall is a natural smiler. Today, that smile was bigger, broader, and endless. But she remembers those early decisions after hers, New York, New Jersey. They voted against legalizing gay marriage. Did you feel you were out there all by yourself for many, many years? Yes. Yes. I mean, when I say me, I mean the court with my wonderful colleagues. But it did feel. Um, it did feel lonely. On the other hand, Janice, in the, in the interim, I was getting so many wonderful responses from people. Justice Marshall attributes the rapid acceptance of gay marriage in recent years to so many witnessing it firsthand. A marriage ceremony, unlike the sterile arguments against discrimination, is personal. There's such happiness, and I think for many of us, and certainly for me, those were the occasions where for the first time, I saw same-sex couples openly loving themselves. Do you think without the Massachusetts decision 12 years ago, <clears throat> this would be happening today? No. Would not be happening. Someone had to break the logjam, is that what you're saying? Yes, and I give enormous credit to Mary Bonato and her legal team. I mean, lawyers teach judges, not the other way around. She is a wonderful teacher. That's what lawyers are. Now, Justice Marshall said while today's decision ends the legal battle for gay marriage, the fight continues. She believes the next frontier against discrimination will be fought for the disabled. Janet Wu, WCVB, News Center 5.